Electric Air Taxi Company, Joby Aviation, announcing plans for its first so-called aircraft production facility. That would be in Ohio. And Phil LeBeau joins us with a very special guest this morning. Phil. Andrew, let's bring in Joe Ben Bever, who is the founder and CEO of Joby, joining us from Dayton, Ohio, where the company has announced it's going to be building a manufacturing facility uh, with production starting in 2025. Uh, Joe Ben, thanks for joining us this morning. I I'm curious, why Dayton and why this location? Uh, good morning, Phil. It's incredible to be with you. I'm uh, here in the Wright Brothers' home, and uh, the Wright Brothers made the impossible po possible, and they brought aviation to us all. And uh, it's incredible to be here in Dayton, uh, to be selecting Ohio uh, for our first scale manufacturing facility. Uh, uh, Dayton is, is home to Wright-Patterson Air Force Base, uh, where the Air Force allocates uh, more than 40 percent of its funding. Uh, it's also uh, home to uh, an incredible aviation workforce. Uh, Ohio uh, provides uh, more than uh, more parts to Boeing and Airbus than any other state. It's third in the nation for manufacturing. And that's really uh, critical as we look to where we're going to site our manufacturing facility. And uh, you know, in addition, the, the incentive package that uh, both the state and local community provided uh, was really spectacular. And finally, uh, our key partner, Toyota, uh, has its largest North American manufacturing location just down the road from us here. All good reasons. You know, uh, Joe Ben, it wasn't long ago you guys received FAA certification to begin flight testing with your prototype EV Tall. And I'm curious, how often are you doing these test flights, and what are you learning so far? Yeah, uh, we are flying uh, regularly and uh, making uh, really spectacular progress. Uh, and uh, since we last talked, we, we rolled our first aircraft of our pilot manufacturing line in Marina, California. Uh, it really demonstrate the, demonstrates the momentum that we have as we are scaling this technology. And uh, we're so excited about the progress we're making on, on certification with the FAA. Uh, the FAA is really hitting its stride and providing us timely responses, including uh, uh, approving multiple area-specific certification plans. As a company, we are really leaning into the next phase of certification, which is testing and uh, seeing incredible momentum there. Joe Ben, you've got commercial service slated for 2025. Do you still expect most of the early air taxi rides, if you want to use that term, to be to and from airports, or are you expecting it to be in other urban locations, maybe not necessarily going to an airport? Oh, well, so we, we see a diverse uh, set of, of use cases for the aircraft, but as you, as you mentioned, the airport routes are the pillar of uh, our, our service in any locality. Uh, uh, as you know, uh, we have a partnership with Delta Airlines where we're uh, looking to be providing a, a really uh, spectacular customer experience to uh, Delta customers at JFK, LaGuardia, and LAX, where Delta's invested more than $10 billion into best-in-class airport infrastructure, and, and we're really excited to be working uh, to leverage that infrastructure and build our own uh, takeoff and landing locations at those uh, Delta locations. But, Joe Ben, you've heard the criticism. Uh, there have been more than a few uh, critics in the last six months to a year who have said, you know, the projections that Joby's putting out there for daily flights once commercial service starts, we think they're too optimistic. We think this is not going to be as widespread as they are projecting at this point. What do you say to that? We're taking a very incremental approach. Uh, we're, we're starting, uh, as we talked about, with the airport routes, and then we're expanding. So we're going to take this step by step and grow this new mode of transportation into something that uh, can be part of people's daily lives, and we're so excited about it. But does that mean you're going to reduce your projections in terms of daily flights? Uh, we are uh, very excited about uh, what this uh, I can deliver for customers, and no, we're not reducing our projections. 